In a previous episode I started working on my fireplace and finished the base of the wooden structure. In this episode I finished building the wooden structure of the fireplace. Before adding further structural elements, first I had to fix the base in place. To do this I used some small corner brackets that will not be visible after all parts are assembled. Plastic dowels had to be inserted in the wall after drilling holes in the marked spots and then after some pre-drilling I could fix the base. Having the base in place meant that fixing the upper elements would be a lot easier. As I had the OSB boards prepared ahead of time, I could easily fix them using wood screws and some more corner brackets. As both sides of the middle part had to be the same size, I took my time ensuring I would have a square fit. I highly suggest that you use any kind of laser level as this will greatly improve your accuracy. Fixing the middle elements of the fireplace structure required some more drilling and fixing some corner brackets. Using all these corner brackets reduced the amount of OSB panels that I needed and they also ensured solid anchor points for the entire structure. As some of these anchor points would be harder to cover with some decorative elements, I decided to fix the small panels individually so that the corner brackets would stay hidden in the inside of the wooden structure. I had a tight space to work in where my drill could not fit in, so an angle adapter was a lifesaver for this project. Adding a front piece would cover everything and then I could move on to the other side. The process for this side was the same as the other one, so with a bit of editing magic both sides were finished. Now I could move on to the top part. This section of the structure was similar to the sides. I fixed all pieces one by one and this way I was able to keep all corner brackets hidden. Finishing the top part meant that the structure of the fireplace was now complete and as a final touch I added a small shelf. A quick test fit of the electric fire confirmed that I was on the right path. There was a gap between the electric fire and the floor so I made some wooden supports for better stability of the device. With the structure complete before I could move on to adding the decorative elements, I had to connect the wires from the new power outlet to the existing one. Safety is first, so before you start messing with high voltages, in case you don't know what you are doing, you should definitely turn to an electrician. With the safety out of the way, I could start stripping the wires and making the new connections. In the next episode I will work on covering both the wall and wooden structure with plaster block pieces. Thanks for watching and till next time, take care.